Hey guys, and welcome back to EQ Planes, and today I'll be doing another Vancouver Airport update. It's definitely becoming harder and harder to get all the aircraft I want onto the mat, so definitely looking at that airport expansion probably sometime around next year, but probably not before the end of the year. Anyways, let's start this thing out with this Air Canada 777-300ER, which is lining up at the end of the runway to make a departure out to Toronto. Holding short of the runway, we have this Korean Airlines 787-9, which will be making the Trans-Pacific journey out to Seoul today. Taxiing behind him, here we have this Air Canada Star Alliance A330, which will be making the flight out to Montreal today. Here we have a Flare Air 737 MAX 8, which is headed out to Ottawa today. Taxiing behind him, we have this United Airlines 737-800 in the new livery, which will be making a flight down to Los Angeles. Next up, we have this Air Canada Rouge A319, which will be making the flight out to Quebec City. This is Air Canada Rouge's only route into Vancouver, and it is seasonal, so I'll probably remove it from the airport updates for the rest of the winter season and bring it back next summer. Here we have the Alaska Airlines Q400, which will be operating the very short flight down to Seattle today. Now, the Alaska Q400s have been leaving the fleet at a pretty rapid pace. I think something like 10 were retired just in the past few months here. Some of them went down to Victorville, some of them actually came up to Canada for their retirement, but yeah, so who knows how much longer they'll keep using the Q400 on this route, but supposedly the airplane will be gone from the fleet entirely by the end of 2023. So this route is most likely going to be switched to the E175 very soon. But following him, we have this WestJet 737 MAX 8 in the new livery, which will be making a flight out to La Jolla on the island of Kauai today. So now WestJet is beginning to ramp up their Hawaiian schedules for this winter, so we'll be able to start implementing some of those routes into the airport updates now. But next up, we have this Air Canada 787-9, which will be making the flight out to Tokyo Narita today. Along with the addition of these new sun routes for the winter schedule, we also have the NHL season, which has started again. So this Delta 757 in the VIP configuration will be bringing the LA Kings back down to Los Angeles after playing a game against the Canucks. Here we have an Air Canada A321 operating one of the many flights between Toronto and Vancouver today, and he's just come in from Toronto and is getting ready to taxi back the gate. Taxiing behind him, you have this Cathay Pacific A350-900, which will be headed out to Hong Kong today. Next up, we have the Sunwing 737-800, which will be making a flight down to Puerto Vallarta today. Here we have Cargo Jet 757, which has just come in from Hamilton. Definitely would like to get some Cargo Jet 767s released in the future, and also a Prime Air 767 release would be great as well. Here we have a debut of a new model to the airport updates, the Qantas 787 I recently got. Really happy with this model and glad to add Qantas to these updates, but of course, this aircraft will be taxiing out to go to Sydney today. Right behind him, we have this Air Canada A220, which will be making the short flight out to Calgary today. Next up, we have this Lufthansa 747-400, which will be making the flight out to Frankfurt today. Now, unfortunately, Lufthansa took the 747-400 off the route at the end of October. was definitely glad to be able to fly the Lufthansa 747-400 on this route earlier last month. But yeah, definitely hope they bring it back next for the summer season. Currently, it is scheduled to come back for the next summer season, but with it being a 747-400, you never know, things can change, and the aircraft could get retired or switched out for one of their new 787s. Who knows? But definitely hope this isn't the last time I use the 747-400 in my airport update. Next up, starting off our regional section, we have this Westjet Sab 340B, which has just made a flight in from Comax today. Parked right next to him, here we have a Westjet Q400, which will be making a flight out to Kelowna later today. And finally, ending off our regional section, here we have the Air Canada Q400, which will be making one of its many flights to Victoria today. Next up, here we have the Air Canada 777-200LR, which has just come in from Sydney today. Definitely would be an interesting route to fly in the future. A trip on Qantas there and a trip on Air Canada back would definitely be nice. Here we have Air Canada CRJ900, which has just come in from Whitehorse today. Definitely be interesting to see if the CRJ900s receive a retrofit, along with the E175s and Q400s in their fleet. Parked right next to him, here we have this Air Canada 737 MAX 8, which has just come in from Edmonton today. Next up, we have this Flare Air 737-800, which has just come in from Kitchener-Waterloo. Here we have an Air Transat A321neo, which is getting loaded up to make a flight out to Montreal today. Here we have WestJet 737-800, which will be making a flight out to Kahalui on the island of Maui today. And finally, parked at the very end of the airport here, we have this Iceland Air 757-200, which will be making a flight out to Reykjavik today. Anyways, definitely lots of routes starting and ending and aircraft switches in the coming months here. Uh, things tend to switch around 
uh, quite a bit between October and November, as that's kind of the transition period for summer and winter schedules. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys back next time.